Welcome to ProBeta's quick video tutorials. In this video, we'll be learning more about Document 1052, Preliminary Analytical Review. The objective of this document is to document analytical procedures performed during the planning and risk assessment stages of the audit. Please note that the processes outlined in this video are the same for both large and small entities. Document 1052 Preliminary Analytical Review can be found under the Pre-Engagement Planning folder in your Caseware document library. The 1052 document is divided into five tabs to assist you in performing and documenting a preliminary analytical review. These tabs are Developing Expectations, Statement of Financial Position, Analytical Procedures, Statement of Financial Position, Developing Expectations, Statement of Comprehensive Income, Analytical Procedures, Statement of Comprehensive Income, and DuPont Analysis. The columns in both Developing Expectations tabs, as well as the columns in both Analytical Procedures tabs, are the same. In the Developing Expectations tabs, the first column displayed is the Section Description. In the second column is the Prior Year 2 or PY2 balance. This balance is calculated automatically from the trial balance and requires no input from you. You can enable or disable this column in the probe firm settings. Only the opening balance prior year 2, prior year 2 period 1 to 12, transactions prior year 2, and closing balance prior year 2 will be taken into account, not adjusting entries. The next column is the percentage change column, which displays the percentage change between the previous year and the year before. Again, there is no input required from you here. The fourth column displays the prior year balance. This balance is also calculated automatically from the trial balance and requires no input from you. Only the opening balance prior year 1 period 1 to 12, transactions prior year 1, and closing balance prior year 1 will be taken into account. In the Estimate By column, you have to create your expectation of the account balance by estimating the amount, applying a percentage change, or estimating an amount change. By choosing the most relevant method, you'll be able to create an expectation for every account balance or class of transactions. The next column is the expected change. After choosing the estimation method, you have to insert the expected change, which may be an amount or percentage, depending on the method selected. This will in turn calculate the current year expectation balance which will be displayed in the Expectation Current Year column. In the Comment column, you can insert a short explanation, audit response, or question as is appropriate. By describing the thought process you went through in arriving at your answer, you're able to substantiate your answer to reviewers and future inquiries. In the Risk column, raise a risk relating to the question if necessary. When raising a risk, you'll be prompted to perform work on the risk in other documents. The final column is the Reference column. Here, you should insert a reference to supporting documentation if necessary. By inserting references to work performed on other working papers, you ensure that your file is logical and demonstrates compliance with international standards of auditing. The Analytical Procedures tabs for both Statement of Financial Position and Statement of Comprehensive Income are very similar to the tabs we have just explained. In the Expectation Current Year or Current Year column, the Current Year Expectation Balance will be displayed. No input is required from you here as this amount will be automatically calculated. The Actual Current Year or Current Year Balance is also calculated automatically from the Trial Balance and is displayed in the following column. Only the Opening Balance period 1 to 12 balances and transactions balances will be taken into account, not adjusting entries. In the percentage change column, the percentage increase from the previous year is displayed. Note that no input is required from you. The percentage change is calculated using the current year balance and the prior year 1 closing balance. 
In the comment column, you can insert a short explanation, audit response or question as is appropriate. By describing the thought process you went through in arriving at your answer, you're able to substantiate your answer to reviewers and future inquiries. In the risk column, raise a risk relating to the estimation if necessary. The fifth and final tab, titled DuPont Analysis, only has one input cell per ratio. In this cell, you should insert a reason for the change between the current and prior year and conclude as to whether your expectation for the movement in the account has been met or not. By doing this, you'll be guided to identify anomalies in the draft accounts. One of our amazing premium features offered to our premium users is Caseware Risk Space. Caseware Risk Space is an online community that provides content to help you document risks, controls, and management letter points. Premium users can import risks, controls, and management letter points from Caseware Risk Space into their template by clicking on the Caseware Risk Space icon. This will not only save you time typing, but will also ensure that the correct spelling and grammar are used, which will result in great report writing. After you have compared the current year expectation to the current year actual balances and inserted comments and or recorded risks, you can conclude this document by signing it off. For more information, you can visit our website at www.probemmx.com. Email us at probesupport at probeta.co.za or call us on 010-595-QMMX today. Thank you for watching.